you want to go ahead and prep these cabinets. You want to make sure that you tape off all the insides of these and make sure that you get those as tight as possible to make sure that there's no paint that goes inside. You do not need to paint the backing of these because the paint uh, does not show once the cabinet doors are showing this here. Unless you have glass. Now these have glass over here so once uh, they are closed you will be able to see the backing so you need to paint the insides of those. Make sure that you get every piece that you can to, to prep out when you get ready to go ahead and do some, some cabinets. Very important. They need to be lightly sanded as well too so that way the paint grips onto it. Then we also use these pegs here to go ahead and hold up the plastic so that makes sure that no lacquer gets on the other side when we're spraying it with our HVLP. Here's our HVLP. We will be using our HVLP gun. This is what I'll be using right here. I got a .14 tip here and um, it's pretty nice uh, to use this, this product here. This is what I use. As far as products go, I'm using the Linmar uh, products here. This is a uh, primer. I'm going to put one coat of this on here. After that, I'll go ahead and power sand it with this right here using uh, one of these. This works out really good. It dries within about 15 minutes. Now, when you're done with that, you want to go ahead and do a light sand, and then from there, you want to put your lacquer over the top of it. That's what I'm using this product here. Now when you mix this stuff, uh, I'll show you specifically uh, how, to, how to go out and do so. Another important thing you need is, is a mask. Now when you use your mask, you got to make sure that you change your filters out. They last only three to seven days here. So you always want to get new filters. If not, you're going to feel a little loopy. Uh, we have gloves. I like the durable gloves. These are really, really good. In, uh, uh, they're, they're just good thick gloves. I, I, I like these. Petroleum jelly, this is for your face or wherever you're going to expose any kind of skin. This will allow, if there's any overspray, that you can just wipe off the lacquer right off, off your skin. It will come right off. So this is good to put on any areas uh, that will have any skin so that way you can clean off easy. And we also have a mask. You need this too to put over so you don't get nothing on your on your head, uh, but when you put the Vaseline, you know, whatever this area here shows on your face, that's the area you want to go ahead and Vaseline. And then we have lacquer retardant. Th this stuff here is, uh, depending on how much or what your humidity is and, and the weather, this is what, this is what extends the lacquer and thins it out a little bit. So uh, in, in some instances you can use as much as 20% of this and as little as 5% depending on your atmosphere. This here too is lacquer thinner. This is the stuff you want to apply into your lacquer as well too. Maybe about 5% or one capful is what I'll be using uh, to, to, to mix it. Also this is cheap lacquer. This is only for cleaning. You want to use the good stuff, the stuff that you're mixing with your your lacquer and you want to use the best stuff just for cleaning. So it's, it's always important to use the good high quality stuff that we have here. So I'll go ahead and show you how to mix this stuff up. So this cup here is very important to measure everything out right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I do about 20 percent is what I, I figured uh, before. Now maybe different in different areas. I start off with one cap full of this stuff before and it just wasn't enough. It depends on your area. What can happen is if you have too much of one thing, what happens if you don't put enough of this on here, it dries so quick. So by the time you're spraying, you're over here. Tss, 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 tss. This will be dry by the time you get over to this point here and you'll have like a lap line that you'll see throughout the uh, the cabinet space going from left to right. And also if you put too much lacquer in here, lacquer thinner, what will happen is is that when you're spraying it on there that you'll get something like a dry dust and when you wipe your hand on it it's going to come off kind of chalky or powdery. That means you got too much lacquer in there. So it's, it's, it's a science to figure it out. But as I said I'm going to 
do it the way that worked for me best and you may use, do it differently. 20% this, one or two caps full of the lacquer thinner. Depending on where you live, it's going to be different. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. So that would mean I would need 20% would of uh, 24 would be right here and then one caps full of lacquer and then I fill the rest up to here. It's important to get these cups. These are great. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you. So you want to push it here. That way it doesn't spill all over. It gets all over the place. But if you hold it here, it's better to have better control of it. See? Like this. And then you want a caps full of this. Same thing. Pull it here. And then go ahead and use the primer here. Put up right about there. And there you have it. So once you get your primer coat done, you want to go ahead and use your sanding tool and get in there and sand it down. Okay, you want this thing to be smooth, okay? This is just the primer here. From this point, from this point now, you want to move on to the lacquer. It sat probably about a good hour. I ate lunch, I came back, I sanded down the the, uh, the, wall, the the cabinets and now I'm going to go ahead and put that the top lacquer on. Pour from here. Alright. A little messy but if you can put it on a piece of cardboard so that way all the gunk goes on the cardboard. Okay? That way you can throw away the cardboard at the end. Mix it up Put it in your sprayer and go to town with it, baby. Okay, I'm here at the office right now, and I'm getting ready to do all these cabinets. Actually, I put some of the primer coat on some of these here, okay? I started off with the primer, mixing it in with some retardant, about maybe 20%. But that's because I'm in Florida. It may be different in your area. So you basically want to glob this stuff on as thick as you can. Now, there's different methods. I lay them out flat like this. The reason being is because these dry within about 20 minutes. So I don't necessarily, I'm not in a time rush. I'm personally going to start to finish these today. And then tomorrow I will flip them over and spray the other side. You could put hooks up there if you're, if you're in a time crunch as well as a time a, a space, if you don't have that much space. But I have the space and I have the time. And this stuff dries quick so I'm okay with laying it out like this. All right, so you'll see how I do this here, okay? You 
my polar prop, water. My HVLP, I've already loaded it up. Pop this on. Test area. Looking good. Put the size first. I went ahead and I finished all the uh, cabinets with the primer. The next thing you do is, is go ahead and fill the cracks, whatever you want to fill. This is what I particularly like to use is this here. This will fill the cracks. You can see right here, there's a crack here. You go ahead and put it on, apply, and then put it on, and then, uh, here, I'll just show you how that sounds. The red color. And that's it. When you're done, go ahead and sand it out. This stuff dries quick, okay? So let it happen, baby. I just finished all the primer on all these cabinets right here. Now I'm ready to use the actual lacquer, the, the finished color on top of these. I will put a couple coats on there, and in between coats, you want to sand with your power sander. All right, now it is day three. The first day I went ahead and did the cabinets over at the house. The second day I did the back sides of the cabinets. That's like this here. And now day three is doing the opposite side. That's this side right here. Now, I, it does dry fast and you could do it, actually, no, I don't recommend you doing it all in the same day. Um, it, it may be dry to touch, uh, the day that you do the backsides. However, if you let it sit overnight, you can get marks from whatever you're laying it on, or it could stick to that and mess up the cabinets. Trust me from experience, that will happen. So it's best to let it dry overnight uh, before you go ahead and do the opposite side. So I went ahead and sanded these all already, and make sure you get all the, the, um, the dust off the cabinets to go ahead and proceed back on with phase one moving on with the primer and then two coats of the lacquer and sanding in between. One of the best parts of the job is seeing how well this stuff evens out when you do it good. Check it out. Okay, so when we go ahead, we're, we're finished up with everything. We're putting the cabinets back. Uh, one thing we did to organize it, we have a number here, number one, number two, and so forth. We numbered all the cabinets. We put them all in these areas. You see right here? We put a number behind here to show where which cabinet goes where. See, that's number three. And then we have it also, you look, I put all the numbers behind here. That says number one, so number one goes here. That's how you organize these. And then we're putting them all back together. But you can see how nice these came out. Nice and shiny. We put the numbers, number nine, seven, matching those up. Looks pretty good. All right, we just finished these cabinets. We put the lacquer over the top of it. We finished them all up, as you can see. If you scroll, look up from here all the way over, they turned out pretty nice. And this is what your finished product should look like at the end. So have a good one. God bless.